Hello everyone and welcome to From the Heart Friday, session 84 with me, Jessica Brigden of Jess B Creative Cardiology. Hope you have had a great week. I appreciate you being here with me and I hope to inspire you with some fun card making ideas today. So thank you so much for being here and joining me. This is the end of celebration. It's kind of a sad, <laughs> sad day. Bittersweet, I guess you could say, as we come to the end of February and the end of our Stampin' Up! celebration promotion. So you have just a couple more days. The promotion ends on Sunday the 28th. Um, so just a couple more days to place your orders of 50, 100, more, whatever it is. But for every $50, you can choose a free item from the celebration brochure. And the choice has been absolutely fantastic. Hey, Janelle, how are you? Which is your, do you have a favorite celebration item, Janelle? I know that I've loved all of them. I mean, there's been so many good ones as far as stamp sets is concerned. And I think my camera probably is backwards here. But we've had the Darling Donkeys. We've had Corner Bouquet. The Amazing Sentiments in Heal Your Heart. The Beautiful Butterflies and Hummingbirds of A Touch of Ink. We've had the Berry Blessings bundle with the awesome paper. We've had our Oso oh Ombre paper. This is the Berry Blessings paper that went with the stamp set. We've had our paper blooms and all those pretty florals. And then I have to say, I think that the Flower and Field Designer Series paper, this has been my absolute favorite. I just love the bright colors and all of the different floral patterns and it's been so fun. <laughs> hey, Philomena, thank you so much for joining and for sharing the video as well. And hey, Luann. And Luann, I was thinking of you because you said you had bright sunny days out there in, was it Wisconsin, um, earlier this week. And sure enough, the weather moved east and the last couple days have been brilliant sunshine here. The snow is starting to melt and <laughs> actually pulled out my sunglasses today and uh, went for a little drive <laughs> just to get out of the house for a few minutes. Oh, so Janelle says she is going to miss the Berry Blessings bundle. Absolutely love that. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you're like me, but any chance I got where I could qualify to earn the Berry Blessings bundle, I did stock up on a couple of these because I love that paper. Oh, and Luann says that she absolutely loves the Heal Your Heart stamp set with the Oh So Ombre paper. Absolutely. I thought this was a great year for celebration. I've been doing my best to use all of, all of the items and show you all kinds of different ways to use them um, over the past two months. So I've got another two quick, simple cards. Yes, I am going to pull in my Field and Flower Designer Series paper. And we're going to make, we're gonna think spring, <laughs> even though uh, winter is not over here in New York, even though we might, we might be getting a sneak peek of spring, but don't let that fool you because winter will be back. <laughs> it's still too early, but we'll enjoy the nicer days while we have. But I'm gonna make some daisy cards, so. What you'll need is your Flower and Field Designer Series paper. And we're gonna do um, our card bases and some greens. So if you've got some Granny Apple Green, and if you've got some Just Jade, we will need some basic black, some basic white. There's actually two different daisy patterns here in this paper pack. There's this one with the obvious daisies, and it's got the pretty little leaves and vines on the back. But then the other one here, oh, did I use my last sheet? No, I've got, got one full sheet left. It's this Just Jade print with the little yellow daisies there. They're actually so saffron. So two different daisy prints. Those are what I'm going to use today. Um, and I'm going to pull in the small, or I guess, it's the smaller of our two daisy punches that we offer. And as far as, I'm, I'm, I haven't worked the cards out completely, so I might 
pull in the Daisy Lane stamp set because um, I'm torn if I want to actual actually stamp that Daisy image or just punch it out. So, <laughs> so if you've got those items, um, and if you don't, I'll put a full um, list of products that I use here in the comments of the video um, after it's posted, and that way you'll have a list of all the supplies I've used. Uh, Luann says, yes, winter will be back. <laughs> it's not a matter of if, but when. <laughs> uh, and Janelle ordered her third pack of flower and field designer series paper. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Good to stock up on those. And it matches the, um, the February Bouquet of Hope paper pumpkin kit too. So I will actually be doing a video on that later today as well. So make sure you check back again. This is like my week of videos here. <laughs> All right, so enough chat here. I'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can actually see my workspace. Let's get some lights going here. Okay, so we've got lots of light. There we go, we can see everything. I do have just the last couple of days of the month, my February host code. 49JD46MW. If you'd like to place an order as a last chance to get some of these amazing celebration items, head online, use that host code to connect your order to me, or definitely feel free to contact me here at the number on the bottom of your screen. Hey, Susan, welcome. Uh, Luann's asking, how am I doing on my sales for this month? I am within $350. So if anybody has yet to place an order or has been holding off, don't wait till the end because I guarantee that the site, the online store will be super busy on Sunday night and it's a possibility that it could crash when things get that busy. So don't wait. <laughs> if you have orders to put them, put them in, oops, I almost knocked my punch over. If you've got orders to put in, don't wait till the last minute. Okay. And if you need any help, let me know. All right, so let's start. Let's start out bright and bold here. This is our granny apple green. Yes, I'm definitely closer than Monday. <laughs> and actually, um, I, I had a family member um, ask me to do a kit class um, that they have scheduled in March. And so I thought that was a great idea. So if you or anyone you know needs a corporate team event or just a night with friends. Um, our Stampin' Up! all-inclusive kits are absolutely amazing. Makes for a fun virtual social activity for, um, for you, your friends, your team, whoever. And I'd love to work out some options with you. I've got some fun ideas and yeah, there's definitely a fun way to connect with folks and you end up with some beautiful cards, um, but you've all had a good time as well. So fun idea. If you're interested in that, let me know. Okay. So our card base here, granny apple green, five and a half by eight and a half. Go ahead and fold this here at the four and a quarter. Okay. So both cards are going to start off very similar. You need a layer of basic black that is four by five and a quarter and then a layer of basic white that is three and three quarters by five. Okay, and Luann says, um, yes. So on Tuesday, during my YouTube Tuesday video, um, here for the last, last few days of the month, I did offer a promotion. Oh, I just ran out of adhesive. Okay. <laughs> Offered a bonus that anybody who orders $60, so it goes, the requirement for celebration is 50, but if you go just a little bit above that to $60, um, an order using my host code here um, through Sunday, February 28th, then I will mail you a six card kit featuring the A Touch of Ink. So I won't be sending the stamps or any stamped images, but the cards, the kit that I will send, um, I des designed it around the stamp set and it actually uses some of the Hydrangea Haven designer series papers. Um, but you'll get um, enough supplies for six cards, two each of three designs. 
and I will mail that out to you. I'll also have video tutorials on how to complete the six cards, and I'll send that to you complimentary um, just by you placing an order through me using your host code, and if you're not comfortable ordering online or not sure about the code, then feel free to, um, to call or message me and I can help place that order for you so you can make sure you get the specials. Absolutely, thank you for reminding me of that, Luann. And yes, I'll post the details of that in the comments too. Okay, so this is what we're doing. I'm not using any ribbon. Like I said, super simple cards. We've got our granny apple green card base, our layer of basic black, layer of basic white. All right, here is where the fun comes with our designer series paper. So in this case, the white daisies and the back side has the fun leaves. All right, so you need two pieces that are one and three quarter inch squares. So 1.75 inch by 1.75 inch. Okay, so you need two pieces. And then you need one piece that is 1.75 by three. Okay, so you need three little chunks of that designer series paper. And we are going to arrange these on our card base. So you'll have a little sliver of the white peeking through with each layer there. And we can go ahead and stick these down. Uh, you can put them in any pattern, but I do like having the leaves showing in between. It kind of breaks up the daisies just a little bit. All right, so we're doing just a little bit of, I guess you could call this color blocking. But the patterns are so fun. Okay. And again, you're working with 1.75 inch squares and then a 1.75 by three inch piece of the daisy here. All right, so line them all up. Oh, I got a little smudge of white smudge there on my card. All right, that's okay. I think we will hide that. So your greeting could go right up here in the top. So I do have my basic my basic black, my tuxedo black memento ink. I've also pulled up my granny apple because I wasn't quite sure which color I would like to do. And then, yes, my Daisy Lane set here. And, well, and when it comes to a sentiment, could use one of those or I could always use the we're in this together or the thank you, seeing as how we are doing our heal our um, celebration focus a little bit. But let's, let's do a little test. I'm gonna pull out the small daisy from the Daisy Lane set. Oh, thank you guys. Janelle says she loves it already. Philomena likes the layout. Yeah, I thought this was cute. Super easy to prep. So both cards follow a very similar design. Um, and great, again, I love using both sides of the designer series paper or mixing and matching your patterns there. All right, and you will need a scrap. I thought I had a scrap of basic white around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, so you'll pull in a scrap of basic white. And I'm thinking, let's try. I'm gonna pull in the So Saffron, that is the yellow that's in here, and I'm going to stamp two. And for best use of this punch, because when you actually, you slide your paper in from the top, so it's best to stamp your daisies perpendicular, okay? So just line them up straight up and down with your bottom edge. I know that's pretty subtle, but that's okay. And we're stamping two of those, okay? Hmm, I guess with the light, it's hard to see a little bit there. But then we're gonna slide these in. So this is kind of nice because it actually gives us just a little subtle hint on our daisies. And it is nice, I'm gonna do two because I'm gonna stack them. 
so that I have a nice full flower here. Okay, and then save that. We'll use this for the next card as well. All right, so let's use our dimensionals. I'm gonna snip this here. I should have grabbed my minis, but let me, I'm just gonna use a side chunk here. I don't need a full size. I'm gonna stick that right in the center of my bottom daisy. And then just rotate my flower so the petals interlock there. All right, flip that over. Now we can use a full dimensional right in the center there on the back. Those little dimensional backings are sticking to my fingers. And then what about that? I was thinking we put this right here on the inside and use one of our bumblebee centers. I keep all my little enamel dots all together here. <laughs> all right, so let's use the bumblebee one. We'll do it nice and bright there in the center. Cute. All right, and then, yeah, I think, I think the tuxedo black would be the good color for our sentiment. All right, so what kind of a card should we make this? Should we just go ahead and do the daisies? Because I love that, I love this friend on there. Let's do that. That's just so cute. Um, oh, hmm, I love that friend, but you know what? I have happy thoughts right here, and this is probably, well, this paper is my favorite celebration item. This stamp set is probably my favorite stamp set from the actual mini catalog. I love the font on these. Okay, so let's go with, let's go with a thinking of you on this one. I'll do that, that's nice and, nice and pretty there. I love that script. Okay, nice and inked. Hey Gladdy, how are you? All right, and we're gonna stamp this right up here in the corner, kind of in the middle of that corner. Beautiful. And yeah, I was debating putting on a couple more enamel dots, but you know what, I think less is more. I think it's pretty, just like that. What do you guys think? <laughs> Sweet and simple. That's what we've got going on here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Luann is going to a craft and chat tomorrow. Well, that's fun. <laughs> she says she usually spends more time collecting her supplies uh, than she does actually crafting. <laughs> that does happen, doesn't it? Or we spend all the time like cleaning to find out, what, to look for something. I did that... Um, Oh, what day was it? Wednesday, I was preparing some items um, for my team and I was looking, I thought I had three packages of a particular designer series paper and I thought I was losing my mind because I could only find two. And then it, I even had to look at my order history and yeah, sure enough, I did order three. Well, I totally forgotten that I had, I had gifted a pack to someone and that's what happened to my third pack that's why i couldn't find it because i gave it away so <laughs> you thought i would have remembered that after i spent you know however long trying to find it but yep that happens <laughs> all right so the next one here we're going to follow very similar um, but this time because we're using this lighter color daisy pattern then we are using the just jade and so this paperback, it really does have so many colors in it. Like everything goes with it. I pulled out some to coordinate with my paper pumpkin. Let me show you guys just quick. I've cut some samples down, but all of the beautiful patterns that you get in this flower and field pack. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes. So this is a full, it's a 12 by 12 pack is what this paper actually comes in. And you get 12 sheets. 
So great value, gorgeous papers. And look at all the colors. I pulled out some coordinating cardstock. Just, I prepped some card bases just so that I could have things ready to go. And look at all of these colors that we've got going on in here. We've got some petal pink in there, some pool party, poppy parade. There's some pumpkin, some shaded spruce, so sour. Look at all those colors. All of these are in that paper pack. It goes with everything. Okay, so we'll fold our Just Jade here. Yeah, I was, this layout actually, um, I saw um, the layout done by a friend of mine, Cheryl Hamilton, um, and I thought it was such a cute idea. She actually had used, um, she'd done a, a card with some strawberries, and just the way she, it was laid out, I was like, oh, I could do something so pretty with the daisies, and that was my inspiration for this. So we're going to go ahead and lay down the, again, the basic black, that's four by five and a quarter, and our basic white, that is, three and three quarter by five. And again, you're not using, there's no ribbon here. So you can just glue everything down. These go together super quick. Um, and you can mix and match with any of your designer series papers and the various flowers that you've got. Um, you could use animals, all kinds of fun stuff. You really, the possibilities are endless with this layout. But I love that it shows, again, showcases designer series paper. Now I used the front and back of one pattern, but you could do three different patterns. You could pull in another piece and bring in a third completely different pattern if you wanted to as well. So lots of, lots of options. So again, these are 1.75 inch squares. You need two of those, a front and a back and then one piece that is 1.75 by three. Okay, so this is just a touch longer. And yes, all right, so I do like the, I like showing off the floral because it's, it's so pretty. So because the measurements are fairly simple, you're there at 1.75, uh, you could pretty quickly cut several strips and then just cut them to various lengths, either the 1.75 or three inches. And then you'll have, oops, I didn't space that one out quite so well. Let's wiggle that a little bit. There we go. Wiggle it just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> because they are so close, you do want them to be at approximately the same height there. Okay. Make sure your edges are, are pretty even. All right. Again, make sure somehow I'm, I need to clean off my fingers. I think I've got little bits of glue everywhere. Okay, so let's try this. We could do, I almost think I wanna go bold with the color and just punch my flowers directly out of some So Saffron cardstock. So let's do that. Um, I think I will, let's stamp them anyways, just for a little extra dimension here. And again, when you're stamping your daisies, make sure they're perpendicular to the edge of your paper so that they fit nicely in the punch. Space them out just a little bit. Okay, not sure if you can see that, but I did stamp them right down there along the edge. And then that works out pretty easy for our punch. Just slide that in there. Okay, line that up. I'm trying to get that lined up how I want it. There we go. Pop. And then the next one here. I do love our punches. That makes for such quick crafting. Okay. And see, look, I used a scrap. All right. So grab some of your dimensionals. All right. They got buried again. So use a mini or a half of a full one on 
the bottom for in between your daisy layers and stack the other petals just rotate them one petal so that you've got kind of so they're staggered we'll put a full dimensional there on the back okay go ahead and put your daisy on here kind of you could put it anywhere but i kind of like it in that that spot off to the left and then we've got a beautiful spot for our greeting and you know what let's see if this one works from the happy thoughts i love this i think that will i should you know let me just pry this off just a little bit just to make sure i've got room for my sentiment and then i'll put my daisy back in place okay so we're actually going to stamp first okay ink that up nice all right looks like i've got good coverage there all right so i'm going to center this here on my upper right corner That is so pretty. Is not this like the most awesome stamp set? That font is amazing. Okay, so that was with the tuxedo black. And yep, my dimensional is still good here. So I'm gonna move it just a touch, just so that it fits so nice right there. with a pearl in the center rather than an enamel dot or even one of the um, the new black dots the enamel black dots you know what? i don't have either of those handy but i do have some of these opal rounds and if you haven't tried these these are part of the sand and sea collection they are clear clear little domes but they've got iridescent glitter flakes in them really really pretty so i think that'll work nice and it's a nice size too let's go ahead and put that in there and that'll help kind of pull in a reflection of some of those pinks and let's just make sure it gets to the center of the flower i like that what do you guys think yeah isn't that cute all right, I realized I missed a bunch of your comments there. So if you were chatting and were like, why isn't she answering? <laughs> Somehow my little screen froze. Yeah, simple and elegant, I love that. Um, <laughs> Luann's asking, how much tape do I go through in a week? Honestly, I do make cards. Some weeks I make more cards than others. Um, but I'd say probably, probably a full refill at least a refill a week, maybe two. So yeah, that's actually good to calculate because I am down to my last refill. <laughs> I was thinking if I need to place an order here at the end of the month and prep for March, then hmm, that'd probably be a good idea. So if I planned for one to two a week, then I should probably order about six, six to eight refills. For, <laughs> to get me through the month? <laughs> exactly. That's a good question. Something good to think about. I just always add, like every time I've got a, an order going in or close out a workshop at the end of the month, I just tag, tack a couple of refills onto the order. <laughs> yes, I'm always running out because I'm just always, yeah, working and get down to it and it's good to have a refill handy. <laughs> And of course, it always seems to be while I'm filming that that happens. Uh, yes, love the sentiments here and happy thoughts. It's a beautiful set. Oh, thank you guys. I'm so glad you liked the cards. Janelle says she ordered four refills today with her order. So good planning ahead there, Janelle. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, I thought these were fun. A couple of variations um, with our flower and field designer series papers um two different daisies it's got a very different look but i do like that that simple layout so you need your card base a 
contrasting darker color for your mat, a layer of basic white, and then pick out some fun patterns of your designer series papers. Uh, we'd make Kylie proud with our loving and chopping. <laughs> and again, your measurements for your pieces are 1.75 inch squares and then 1.75 by three inch for that extended piece there. And then just some scraps for flowers or whatever you'd like to accessorize with. So yes, I hope you'll give these a try. I'd love to see the cards that you guys make. And if you're watching on the replay, then thank you so much. Again, we're nearing the end of the month, February host code and the end of celebration here. So make sure you get those orders in and don't miss out on your celebration freebies like this gorgeous paper. You can uh, purchase the Happy Thoughts set to get towards your qualifying amount for your free papers or whatever you choose. And yes, and if you're on YouTube watching, then give me thumbs up, subscribe, <laughs> hit that notification bell. And yeah, and if you haven't, if you're here on Facebook and you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, definitely head over there. Make sure you subscribe because I do live videos there um, on YouTube every Tuesday. And actually go back to my video from this Tuesday. I think that was YouTube Tuesday. Oh goodness, what was it? Session 37, where I did the A Touch of Ink cards. If you leave a comment on that video between now and next Tuesday, March 2nd, I will be doing a giveaway on March 2nd where I'll be giving away my cards that I did last week here. So head over to my YouTube channel, leave a comment on that A Touch of Ink video, my most recent Tuesday video, and let me know which of these um, Dandy Garden cards was your favorite color. All right. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Sharon, thanks for joining us. Yes, love you guys. Love comments and all of that wonderful stuff. Hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and a great weekend ahead too. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.